All right, I've been doing this free LS swap tuning for a few years now, and uh, my OBD link still works. Most of them aren't working anymore, but I just bought a OBDX Pro, and I could not be happier with it. So much faster. Um, hands down, huge upgrade. And if you haven't got into the free tuning yet, it's a no-brainer. Dude, I'm pretty happy with this OBDX Pro. So I bought this OBD link like uh, three years ago, four years ago. And I've been doing a bunch of flashes with LS Droid. I've done literally dozens. I mean, over 50 probably. And this OBDX Pro, uh, this is the new VX that just came out. It's supposed to be four times faster than the OBD link. But I just did a flash. I've had to use my old Android phone with the OBD link with the LS Droid Legacy. This is the new Windows version. And this flash using the phone and the OBD link, same bench harness and everything on this one megabyte PCM. This is an 03 P59. It used to take 22 minutes to flash and it took three now. That's a lot better than four times faster. I also took my chances and flashed it even though it told me not to because my voltage was too low. But I think they just put a whole bunch of warnings in here to sort of make it idiot proof because uh, I use this exact same power supply for, you know, 50 friggin' flashes and never had a problem. So I was like, uh, let's try it and see what happens and it was totally fine. Okay, this is what I was really hoping for too. See our throttle position at 100% here. This was just a quick little one-two blast in the blazer. And the elapsed time is showing me I have multiple samples per second here. And what do I got? Six or eight samples per second. Which is what I want to see when I'm data logging. And this little OBD link was not doing that with a Beretta. Okay, here's a log with a Beretta. So there's my throttle position, 100%. And I've got, I don't know, a couple dozen samples or whatever. But that's over the course of a whole freaking run which was like 13, 14 seconds. So that means this VX is logging way better than this OBD link was, which makes me very happy. I mean, this thing served its purpose. It was like 50 bucks three or four years ago. I've done a ton of flashes on it. I got to LS swap, get things running. But this, I mean, it's newer technology and it is by far a better piece of equipment. That blazer flash was three minutes instead of 22 like it would have been with this one. And the, uh, the sampling is a lot better on the logging too. Plus, I don't have to uh, take a file from Tuner Pro on the computer, email it to my old phone, hook up the old phone, do the Bluetooth, all that BS. The USB cord goes directly from the OBD2 port with this thing to the laptop, no screwing around, way faster. Um, I'm hoping that it's fast enough that I can even flash the Breda without pulling the computer out of the car. Because um, that's a pain in the ass. And that would always fail at like five minutes. But, and that's like an 11 minute flash usually because it's the uh, half megabyte PCM. This one, if it flashed the whole freaking thing in three minutes and it's twice the size, I should be like a minute and a half. Maybe it'll be fine flashing the Beretta without pulling it out. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, now I got this thing in the Beretta. And yeah, I'm 12.4 volts to 12.6. I want to see if this will flash the PCM while it's just connected to my OBD2 rather than having to take the damn thing out of there and make it work. All right. It says it's going. I hope this works. Very nice. Okay, so that flash was completed in two and a half minutes. I like that a lot better. And the fact that I could do it here without pulling the PCM out of the freaking car. <laughs> yes. So the way this cord comes out is kind of a terrible spot for my clutch pedal here. So I'm going to have to get one of those 90 degree USB cables that goes off to the side here. <clears throat> but all in all, I am stoked that this thing flashes so fast. And I don't have to take the PCM out of the car now and use that bench harness. That is huge. It was a, you know, 
at least 20 minute ordeal to flash a tune before when the tune took 11 minutes to flash once you had it ready and you had to take the ECM out to tune it and then put it back in when you were done. Uh, which meant jacking up the car, pulling the fender liner and all that BS. So uh, I am stoked that I can flash a new tune in three minutes. That took two and a half. That's nice. And the fact that it's on the PC, I'm flashing straight from the PC, means that I don't need to hotspot my new phone so that I can Wi-Fi my old phone and email the tune to it and all that BS. Uh, this is way better. Okay, did a little how-to a long time ago about the original LS Droid. Here's the Windows version. Droid. Okay, this here is going to be my new tool. OBDX Pro VX. So this Windows version does not work with the OBD link at all. So there's a whole bunch you can do here. Uh, <clears throat> you can grab stock bin files from this spot here. This is basically the bin file that I set mine up for, um, for the Beretta, and then did a segment swap over here, which I did all this stuff differently. Set up for the Camaro, and then a segment swap with the 4.8 and all that. So um, doing all this stuff on the PC, and then using Tuner Pro on the PC, not having to screw around with different stuff. Um, huge, huge improvement from doing the phone back and forth with the computer and all that stuff. But the file I was working on here was well, just give another guess on this. Oh, I didn't save the second one. Glad I opened this up. <clears throat> Changing the reference pulses to try and get this uh, tack working right on my blazer. Glad I just did that. Now I'm going to do a read write. Now copy. Yeah, it says it doesn't have XDF support. It actually does, obviously, because I've got the XDF right here for it um, with the information that I needed. It's got uh, parameter comments and all that stuff. So I think that's, again, LS Droid being a little bit on the uh, idiot-proof side <coughs> of things. Because this is basically telling me there's no XDF, the voltage is too low, all that, but it's still going to work.